Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Now it is November 2023, so we are getting in towards that really peak Caribbean cruise season. So in this video, we're gonna start to look ahead at some of the ports that are really the most popular for going diving in the Caribbean. So if you're thinking about planning a cruise to the Caribbean over this winter period of the Northern Hemisphere winter, and you really wanna include some diving into that itinerary, these next 10 ports are really some of those that really get the most recommendations as far as being ports that you can go diving in. So there's a whole range of different ones here. Are they the only ones you can go diving in? No, there's plenty more. These are just some of the most popular ones listed in alphabetical order so that when you start to look at a cruise itinerary, you can have a rough idea of which ports you wanna include in that trip and find the best itinerary for you for what you can do underneath the water. So let's take a look at 10 of these ports in alphabetical order. So while this list isn't a ranking list of the top 10, it's just 10 most popular ones in alphabetical order. The first one that we are taking a look at is often voted as one of the best Caribbean diving islands, and that is Bonaire. Bonaire provides the B in the so-called ABC Islands, a chain found in the Southern Caribbean along with Aruba and Curaçao. Whilst the other two provide more sightseeing opportunities above the water, below the waterline is where Bonaire shines. The island is seen as not only one of the Caribbean's best, but one of the world's best diving locations, and its surrounding waters in fact form a marine park. Visibility can be up to 100 feet deep with many reefs alive with coral and abundance of fish species. Popular Bonaire dive locations include Alice in Wonderland, where you can experience the double reef located here. Bari Reef is seen as the number one spot in the Caribbean for diversity of fish species. And then the Hilma Hooker is an internationally recognized site where marine life surrounds this freighter located between 60 and 100 feet or 18 and 30 meters beneath the surface. Now these are just the starting options, so it isn't hard to see why divers speak so highly of this island. And coming in next on our list today in alphabetical order at number two, we head to Mexico now for not only one of the most popular diving islands in the Caribbean, but just one of the most popular islands full stop, and that is Cozumel. One of the busier cruise ports by total ship visits, Cozumel has arguably the largest collection of different dive sites, most of which are found on the same side of the island as the multiple cruise docking locations. Located in the heart of the Mesoamerican barrier reef system, with its incredible visibility, warm waters, and an abundance of marine life, it's no wonder that divers flock here year round. Some of the top sites include the legendary Palanca Reef. This underwater wonderland boasts dramatic coral formations and vibrant marine life. You can dive deep here to discover the beautiful swim throughs, tunnels, and the big variety of colors. Sea turtles, eagle rays, and nurse sharks all call this reef home. Columbia Reef, Punta Sur, and Santa Rosa are just a number of the other dive options here. There is said to be over 100 different dive sites surrounding the island, so no matter how many times you come here, there's a fair chance you can always dive somewhere new. And the big bonus here too, after your dive, you can then recharge with some great Mexican food. And now for number three, we make our way down south to the Southern Caribbean islands to the ABC islands. We've already been to one with Bonaire, but for number three, we now go to Curacao. Curaçao, with its clear waters and abundant marine life, is a diver's paradise. From shipwrecks to coral gardens, the options are endless. This independent country that is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands has over 70 different dive sites. When talking Curaçao dive sites, Watamula is often at the top of divers' go-to lists. Coming from the Dutch wording for watermill, it refers to the two different water currents that come through here and is famous for its beautiful coral and being a popular spot for sea turtles. Tugboat is another very popular dive spot too, 
where there is an artificial reef created on a sunken tugboat. And speaking of sunken vessels, for advanced divers, the superior producer is often seen as the top wreck dive in the Caribbean. At a depth of 100 feet or 30 meters, this 200-foot cargo wreck sunk in 1977 and is now attracting all kinds of marine life. Another thing that we love about Curacao is all of the coral restoration projects that are taking place at various sites around the island. And coming in next at our list on number four in alphabetical order is a port that's often more so known for its lush green interior, but we're going to be focusing more on its coastline and what you can see underneath the water, and that is Roseau Dominica. Dominica, often called the nature island of the Caribbean, is known for its lush rainforests and volcanic landscapes. However, with its pristine surrounding waters, this island offers some of the most unique dive experiences in the region. Our first spot here is the world famous Champagne Reef. This unique dive site is known for its volcanic activity, which releases warm effervescent bubbles from the sea floor, creating a magical experience. The underwater landscape is adorned with colorful corals and an array of marine life, such as seahorses, frogfish, and even the occasional octopus. Other popular dive sites that are accessible from the Roseau Cruise Port include Scott's Head Drop-Off and the Sofriere Pinnacles. Whilst not as many different options as other ports on this list, Dominica still has over 20 different dive locations, and the island's topography is what makes them unique from other ports of coal. Coming in at number five on our list is rounding off sort of the first half of these ports of coal that are great for diving is a place that's very famous for its resorts, also for its amazing long seven mile beach, but also has some great diving and that is Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman offers a diverse range of dive sites with over 200 recognized dive sites around the island. These sites include coral reefs, wall dives, shipwrecks, and other underwater formations, providing a wide variety of experiences for divers of different skill levels and interests. Popular options include Stingray City for the chance to swim with these gentle giants in their natural habitat. And for those who love shipwrecks, the USS Kitiwaki is a must-see. This former submarine rescue vessel was deliberately sunk to create an artificial reef. A dive through this wreckage allows you to encounter a fascinating array of marine life that have made this site their home. For other options, Grand Cayman's East End boasts some of the most spectacular wall dives in the Caribbean. The drop-offs offer awe-inspiring views and provide possible encounters with reef sharks, eagle rays, and massive sponges. Just note though, that unlike the other ports on this list, Grand Cayman is a tender port, so it's likely that it'll take longer to get off the cruise ship in this port than the others on this list, so just remember to factor that in if you are making bookings in advance with local dive companies. And as we now start to move into the second half of the list, coming in at number six, is a port that a lot of people love because you can basically just walk off the ship and go straight down onto the beach. But if you go a little bit further, you'll also find some great diving opportunities, and that is Grand Turk. Grand Turk, the capital of the Turks and Caicos Islands, with its fantastic visibility, warm waters, and a variety of dive sites, is a perfect destination to explore the underwater wonders of the Caribbean. Nearly all of the popular dive sites are located close off the west coast of Grand Turk in the Columbus Landfall National Park, which includes the beach and waters fronting the Grand Turk Cruise Center and the country's capital of Cockburn Town. Whilst there are some beautiful reefs to explore, Grand Turk diving is most popular due to the underwater visibility making spotting rays, sharks, turtles, and the huge variety of reef fish very possible. And moving to number seven on our list is a port that out of all of these is probably the one that is closest actually to the mainland of the United States, just 180 miles or 290 kilometers off the coast of Florida, 
Now we're going to Nassau in the Bahamas. The capital of the Bahamas, on the island of New Providence, Nassau is among the world's most popular diving destinations. There is an ever-growing number of wrecks, including historical ships, boats that were deliberately sunk as artificial reefs, and vessels and airplanes that were used in the sets of various Hollywood movies such as James Bond, Jaws, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Into the Blue. It offers some fantastic dive sites conveniently located near the cruise port, making it a perfect destination for a day of underwater exploration. Nassau is a particularly popular spot for thrill-seeking divers who want to get up close and personal with the many different shark species that inhabit Bahamian waters. A popular spot is the renowned Stewart Cove. Just a short drive from the cruise port, this dive site is famous for its thrilling shark encounters. Whether you're a seasoned diver or a newbie, they offer options for all levels of experience here. You can get up close and personal with reef sharks, nurse sharks, and even the elusive hammerheads if you're lucky. Other options here include Blue Hole, Runway Wall, and Periwinkle Reef. All right, so we're seven ports down. We've still got three more diving ports to go. But if you are finding this video useful as far as looking at which different ports you'd like to see on your Caribbean cruise itinerary to maximize your diving opportunities, please do us a favor and hit the subscribe and the like buttons just below this video. It just tells YouTube to send this video out to a wider audience and it does us a world of favor. So we'd really appreciate it. All right, now let's dive back in to number eight. And then moving to number eight in our alphabetical order list here of 10 different diving cruise ports, we're now going to a place that's only growing in popularity as each year seems to pass. Next, we're off to Honduras for the port of Roatan. Situated on the second largest barrier reef in the world, Roatan is home to some of the best dive sites in the Caribbean. With over 100 named dive spots, the waters off this Honduran island's coast offer a diverse array of scuba opportunities. Protected shorelines, stunning wrecks, intricate wall dives, and glimpses of amazing underwater marine life. Popular dive sites include Mary's Place for its thriving array of fish species. Another, El Aguila Wreck, is situated in 110 feet of water on a sandy floor and is a three-piece wreck that provides a varied environment for exploration and fantastic swim-throughs. Blue Channel, another option, is a pristine drift dive known for its vibrant coral gardens and crystal clear waters. As you glide along the current, you often encounter a diverse range of marine species, including groupers, snappers, and angelfish. The channel's beauty and biodiversity make it a top choice for many divers. Roatan's unique marine ecosystems are fiercely guarded by progressive conservation efforts undertaken by the local government, as well as strong engagement of the local community and local dive industry. And now moving to number nine, we're now going to go to a port that may come as a little bit of a surprise on this list, but we'll explain why. Next, we're off to the US Virgin Islands for the port of St. Croix. St. Croix, the largest of the US Virgin Islands, is a diver's paradise with its pristine waters, vibrant coral reefs, and incredible marine life. The waters around St. Croix are home to an enormous diversity of species. So far, over 40 species of corals have been documented, as well as a whopping 500 different species of fish. There are approximately 50 to 60 recognized dive sites around St. Croix. These sites include coral reefs, walls, wrecks, and other underwater formations. Popular options include Cane Bay, Frederickstead Pier, Salt River Canyon, the Butler Bay Wrecks, and Sandy Point. And these are just a small number of the amazing underwater experiences that St. Croix has to offer. And then to round out this list, we're staying in the US Virgin Islands with a place that a lot of people go to because they love the beaches, but we're gonna take a look at what's under the water, and that is a visit to St. Thomas. Thomas. 
And the final stop on today's diving tour of the Caribbean takes us to St. Thomas. This island usually is most thought of for its fantastic array of beaches. However, we are looking at what you can see beyond the sand. Koki Beach is a popular beach dive site on the northeastern coast of the island. Very clear and calm conditions make this a good location for snorkeling as well as for beach entry scuba with no surface swim necessary. For divers, there are two reefs in 40 to 50 feet of water and they're very good for beginners. It's also excellent here for night dives if you do find yourself here in the evening. Cow and Calf Rocks is also a popular spot with more experienced divers. It has lots of canyons, ridges and pass-through arches as well as tunnels. A variety of marine life can be seen here, including soft and hard corals, schools of jacks and spadefish, and hawksbill turtles. Congo Cay and Buck Island Point are also popular spots. St. Thomas has over 40 recognized dive locations, so there are plenty of different options to choose from. So there we go, that is our list of 10 really popular diving destinations of cruise ports in the Caribbean. If you're planning a cruise vacation, you want to get diving done over these next few months over the Caribbean cruise season. Now is it a comprehensive list of all of the places to go diving? No, there's so many others such as Granada, Tortola, St. Lucia and so many more. These are 10 that are just some of the most popular ones that'll get you off to a good start if you're trying to piece together a few different ports within one cruise itinerary to get the most out of the underwater activities. So thanks very much for watching everyone, enjoy your diving experiences in the Caribbean and we look forward to seeing you soon on the next video.